Welcome back to Failing at Lava Mortis. I'm Loomis at the controls. I'm Entropic Angel. <laughs> or at least someone wearing his face. I was much happier before I heard that sentence and realised I can't see you on the screen at the same time. Nah, oh well. <laughs> so it's just the risks of life. Yeah. You might be showing you Let's Play with a Maniac. <laughs> yeah, we all have to take our chances. Yes. Anyway, to more important matters, story. Yep. One fifth of the artifact was taken by one of the adventurers to the United States. I must find him and get his part. So again, more um, violence and robbery. Pretty much. That's all we really know how to do. Yeah. The American member of the Cursed Company must be in this place. Probably, for some reason. Mm. Where are we, anyway? Michigan? Somewhere in Michigan. We'll have to exterminate the entirety of Michigan until we find him. I mean, the chance that one of them is probably cursed, so... Mm. It's been <laughs> Yes, Michigan, like everywhere else, looks like a series of dark and stone... Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected Michigan to look like. Yeah, I think it pretty much does. I mean, I've never been, but... Uh... Ah, spiderlings everywhere. Demons, we've got these strange white spiders. Plenty of supplies, though. You can tell it's a plot based mission. Yeah. cowboy aesthetic makes a lot more sense now that we've gone to the Americas. It does, I mean, probably doesn't look like a normal citizen. Yeah, we blend in here. Gun-toting, red meat-eating Republican. People might have thought that, you know, we look like kind of a weirdo back in Europe. But in America, we're considered fine and upstanding. I think you'll probably have more appreciation for, you know, the broadsword style. Yeah. I don't know, the Americans do seem to go big for swords sometimes. I don't know that one guy in the Magnificent Seven who used the sword. I assume so, or the Seven Samurai. It all blends into one, I'm sure. Both very fine films for anyone who wants a film recommendation and hasn't seen them. Go for the Magnificent Seven if you're short on time. Seven Samurai is good, but um, long. I've actually seen the Seven Samurai. Definitely worth it. Seven. Uh, did I just pick up a cannon? Yes, yes we did. Or at least a weaponized telescope. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, we probably need the cannon. Yeah. Oh wow, this is doing nothing to this guy. Oh no. Uh, Maybe get near to him and hit him with your sword. <laughs> if we can. Maybe you get near to him and hit yeah. him with your sword. Yeah, um. Oh no, it's like some oom spawner, I think. Oh. Uh. If we survive this, we'll check the beach tree. Get out of the way, Imps. Your mother or father needs to be machine gun. Mother and or father. Yeah. Right, he's almost dead. We can do this. We can do this. That fireball is still following me. Hmm. Right, so it's... Hmm. No cheap amulet could, could turn a man into this kind of hell spawn. No, the the um the hell spawns that cheap amulets make tend to be sort of a greenish in colour, as I recall. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. One guy in the US and another in Sweden. Right, fine, we'll go to Sweden. 
Oops, I accidentally fell through the exit, but I think we already got yeah. everything here. We got the cannon, which is the most important exactly. thing. Exactly. I mean, this will solve all our problems. Yeah. Cannoning people in the. <laughs> yeah, we've got two plot lines going mm, on now. That's, that's cool. interesting. But most importantly, that's. We've got a cannon. <laughs> yep. There's, there's just a straight up cannon. Yeah. Okay. It's small naval cannon. <laughs> He's a strong guy. He, he, no, who carries a cannon, cannon around? It, it's impractical, but cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, lucky charms, though. Yeah, that wasn't there before, was it? And a mm. stake. I don't remember us picking up the stake, to be honest. I don't remember any vampires, to be honest, either. Mm. Wait a minute, this is updated. <laughs> I do remember picking up the curse yeah, nail. What we it. forged it into the sword, as I recall. Yeah. Good item to have. Mm. Yeah. Wonder if there's going to be more weapons. There's still kind of an alcove over here that's got nothing in it. I mean, we could do with like a bigger sword. Mm. Possibly some sort of thermonuclear device. Yeah. When do we get the plasma rifle? Exactly. Yeah. So let's see. Just one in the United States, one in Sweden. We may as well get the one What's in the US there? while we're here. I first, yes. Do that I mean, or? Depends whether our travel expenses are being paid for. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, where is the rest of the agency? We never met them. <laughs> as far as I know, it's just Two Gun Clyde talking to himself. <laughs> but I suspect people have probably seen enough stories, so we can probably go for another side quest. Try out our new cannon in Oregon. Yeah, we don't want to get under leveled. I mean, that demon at the end of the last one was a bit of a nasty surprise. I know. Right, local folktales. Horrible events happening around here. Oh. Save all the last souls. Okay. Great mission to try out our new area of effect <laughs> weapon in. I mean, they'll, they'll probably be fine. I mean, I'm, I've heard that, you know, if people are innocent, they don't get hurt by cannon fire. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're pure of heart, you don't suffer from such things. I mean, I'm sure in America, though, I mean, somewhere, there's probably a trial for, you know, witchcraft like that. Yeah. You know, shoot a cannon at an unsuspecting woman and if she dies then she's um, you know. And she probably was a witch. But if she doesn't die, she's probably something unnaturally as well. So um <laughs> Well, you know, witch trials are yeah. not just an excuse for misogyny, <laughs> honest. If, if she dies then she's a witch. If she doesn't die then obviously something weird's going yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, are these faces part of the game, or are the demons trying to get through again? Who knows? I still think they won't be there when we play the tape, but I think it's just something that we're seeing. I mean, I guess when you do use sort of cursed items to build a PC, it does sort of have this effect, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, I was looking out the window when the last one appeared, and I still saw it. Okay, now we've got boss monsters as regular enemies. Ah. Ah. Oh boy. Ah. Right, let's try that again without the um <laughs> the, without the death. Yeah, let's, let's call that one a mulligan, take another go. I to be honest, I did not expect to see um a giant spider coming out of a <laughs> Yeah. No way. Well, I guess that's a learning experience. <laughs> and of course, yet another um Existential crisis for Tug and Clyde. <laughs> I mean, you can't really have died, or you wouldn't be the last living person. So you know, it must have been just been a misunderstanding. Of course, every time he dies, someone actually someone else dies in his place. That is also a. Hmm. Anyone familiar with the plot of Planescape Torment? That is actually a thing of that. Can we actually read that? I think it's just decoration. Uh. You can mostly just shoot things. <laughs> I mean, we're not even sure if he can read to Clyde. Mm. He doesn't seem like the sort of man who'd spend time reading. No, not when he can be destroying things. No. Yeah, we've said that the agency consists of just two, two Gun Clyde, but how many of Two Gun Clyde is there? Exactly, I mean the other solution is there's like an infinite number of clones. 
with his soul split between them. We've got a new item, by the way. Do we have a look at that? Yes, we do. What have we got? Dum dum bullets, pistol bullets. Hmm. Do twenty five percent damage. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Cannon. <laughs> and for those interested, we have two. We have a gargantuan spider. Spider. The size of a ball. With the strength hmm. of an elephant, you can survive its <laughs> attacks. And the hell baron. Okay, so we're not even pretending to not be doomed no. now. <laughs> The perspective's different to do. Yeah. This probably takes place in the same universe. Yeah, it's probably like, like I don't know, hundred years before they get to Mars or something. Yeah. We actually have the key that we need. Ah, uh, yes, I think so. I think we played this game once already. Was that last time? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I sorry. Want to grab the armor? Yeah. I'm sure, we cleared that room. Oh, we've got a level up, by the way. Okay, let's um, some more regen. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's better. You can see the health going up now. Yeah. Oops. Oh, are we saving guys again? Yeah, same quest. Mm -hmm. well, this game, unfortunately, has rather puritanical ideas about slate saving. <laughs> yeah, we, we save people in the sense that they get to go to heaven. Exactly. Very, very quickly. Move! Sorry, lost soul. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I do care about you, but, um, yes. <laughs> I mean, I've saved more than a kill, but that's what counts, right? Yeah. That's a net positive. Hmm. If people are too harsh on people like that. Yes, sir. Go through here. Like, you know, if you. What? Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I like them, folks. Are now actually, like, a thing. Yeah, just regular enemies. Yeah, you know, if, if, you, if you're a doctor and you save 10 lives and you later on walk out into the street and shoot somebody, you know, that, you're still a good person. You've saved. And, and, I, that, you know, that's an average game. Exactly. We don't know that the, ne the next guy might be the next Hitler or something. Yeah, I don't see any reason to be unsporting about this. <laughs> People are so hung up on, you know, innocent lives. What is innocence, really? I don't know, seriously, audience, you tell me. I'm, I'm genuinely interested in your <laughs> philosophical um, leanings on the concept of innocence. Is anyone really innocent? Except for Two Gun Clyde, of course, he's a saint. Yeah. I mean, think about it, we've all committed crimes and sins. Except for Two Gun Clyde, obviously. Mm. Obviously. <coughs> yes, if anyone in the comments wants to chip in with a philosophical comment about innocence, um, feel free. It all depends what religious and philosophical yeah. point of view you subscribe to, really. Where do you think 2 and 5 learned his awesome fighting skills? At church? I assume so. I mean, he's a priest, and I assume it's a special sect. With, you know, priests being in such short supply in the realm of undead, he needs them to survive yeah. and to bring justice to the few sort of lost souls. I assume people, you know, were like. You know, as a priest, you may occasionally be called upon to fight the forces of evil. Yeah. Oh, well, that um, was um, uh, yeah. that mission's not. No, that's not harder than we expected. Us. <laughs> okay, the amount of boss monsters as um, actual. So, um, yes, let's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that was um, harder than I thought. 
So what, what I'm learning here is that Aragon yeah. is the no. new Scotland. Yeah, no, let's not, not go there. Let's never go there again. <laughs> I mean, the people there can cope. It's only like giant spiders and werewolves that they'll be fine. Yeah. Swap for... Uh, is it time? Yeah, we had a couple of goes at that, so maybe we'll call it there. Yeah, today. we'll call it there. And we'll follow up next time. We'll see you then. See you later.